Hey guys, so I'm gonna do some uh, filming of the install. So just a bit of a recap of what we've completed so far. So I have put that uh, marine ply down as the base. So that's gonna be the permanent base for that rear part of the um, setup. Um, I've taken out the right hand side panel there. I've got 12 mil marine ply uh, on that side. I've put nut certs in for all of these bolts just to help secure that panel. So as you would already know, I've already put that steel panel in that left hand side that houses that ARB compressor. So I've already started the right hand side enclosure for the fridge. So I'll show you that now. So she's a bit of a show in the shed at the moment. Got a bit going on. Um, so this is basically gonna be that right hand side, side enclosure. Uh, so your fridge obviously will sit on that part a little bit of access for storage underneath the battery is going to sit underneath that panel as well um, so there will be a bit of storage all the way around that and then this top section here comes off and then that's going to house all of my electronics in that particular spot there I'm not sure if I'm a fan of these clips um, I might end up just screwing that down permanent um, but it does clip down it's not too bad they're a bit poxy those clips but we'll see how it comes out so we'll have some um, outlets on the front here I'll have a vent on that panel as well to help get a bit of airflow through that keep those components nice and cool then I've got to try and figure out how this wiring is going to then come through because a lot of the wiring is going to be coming out of that right hand panel. So once I figure out the correct location, then I can start drilling the holes and then doing some a bit of a temporary run of the wiring and see how it's gonna go. Uh, but for today's mission, I think guys, I'm gonna pull that seat out. It's the last time I'm gonna see that seat before the trip. Uh, then I can start completing some measurements for the drawers on the left hand side here and then also measure up in front of the seat for the floor panel uh, and then also get a final measurement for all of the cushions and stuff so I can hurry up and get some foam cut. Once I get the foam cut, then I'll get the canvas and try and somehow get that upholstered, whether I can squeeze it in with someone or whether I just do it myself. But we'll see how we go. So that's the plan for today, guys. Um, any important bits, I'll try and film so I can put together some kind of video at the end of all this uh, before we leave. But keep your fingers crossed for me, it's going to be a big job. And I'm not a carpenter by any means, I'm just winging this stuff. I don't have a CNC machine, I don't have a CAD drawing through all this sort of stuff. So <clears throat> I'm just measuring it up with my engineering ruler and my tape measure. Sharp pencil and doing my best. So we'll see how we go. Got a bit of an update from the first day, so it's been a bit frustrating to say the least. So I didn't come into this as a plan. I kind of knew a little bit in my head what I wanted, but legit, probably three quarters of a day scratching my head, trying to figure out how I'm gonna fit it all in. Obviously you need to try and figure out the build with a decent width between sides so you can get in there. I've got a pretty big foot, so making sure it's comfortable. So I have allowed myself 300 mil as a minimum in there. It's probably gonna be smack bang on 300, I would say. So that leads me to my other problems. I wanna try and make sure that all of the cooking stuff that I'm gonna be using moving forward for camping is going to be suitable in this bottom drawer here. Now, it's probably not the greatest idea in the world, but I'm just gonna give it a go and see how it pans out. I'm just using this form plier to construct some of this, which has that like glossy type finish on it. And it does slide I wouldn't say really well, but it does slide a bit better than obviously just normal timber. So I've decided to build this drawer out of it. So to talk you through why I've done what I've done here. So I've allowed a gap on the side. So I've got a toolkit in there. I can access the jack if I need to. In this bit here, I'm gonna have a recessed fire extinguisher, which is gonna sit in that mount there. So I've tried to allow for all that. And then obviously some room for my compressor up there to make sure I can get some airflow around that compressor. Plus a little bit of storage up there as well. So I need a structural wall 
in the middle so I can allow the construction around that. And then it's trying to work out the right heights for all of the components that are going to be in here. So I've got my camp oven in here and the jet boil Genesis. And I haven't really spoke about that yet, but I will moving forward. Uh, so that's in there. I've had to allow for the height for that stuff. And also I'm going to have a cast iron skillet or fry pan that's going to have to go in there as well. So the biggest challenge for me today was trying to figure out how I can make this work with the diameter of that camp oven. So that's the widest thing that I'm going to have in there. And it is super, super tight. So you'll see the design of that drawer. Now that's why I've done that because if I had, if I enclosed it in with anything thicker than that, then it would have been too wide and it wouldn't have fit in there. So I've dropped down either side of that to allow for wider things in there, like the camp oven and potentially that fry pan as well. So I haven't actually got the fry pan yet, so I'm just going off the online specs. But I will have a wall up the side there, so this here will be running on the inside of that. Now what I'm thinking, I will have a nice big cutout so we can access all that stuff in there. So the idea behind all of this as well is to make sure that I can access this stuff if the weather is crap and I can't open this drawer. So a lot of the builds that I see, you can never access that bottom drawer if it's shit weather. So this drawer, hopefully I can access it from the side, get out all that stuff that I need without opening the drawer itself. Or obviously if I open the drawer, I can just get it out from the top. And then the top drawer above this, then I'll just have a flap on top. So if we can just pull the cushion up, grab out what I need and happy day. So, so I have been thinking about this a long time, but I haven't really got into the nitty gritty of how it's gonna all work because I really wanted the car back in the flesh with the conversion done to make sure that it can all work. So hence the reason why I'm under the pump to get this done. But, and if you're not seeing this, well then obviously it didn't work and I'm back to square one again, but hopefully you are watching this. That means that it's all worked out for us. Um, but as I said, like it's been pretty much a whole day today and I've basically done that and a bit of planning. So I oh, ended up trip to Banois obviously, cause never remember everything. So that's where we're at guys after day one. Hopefully tomorrow, I'm going to put another solid effort in tomorrow. It may even confirm our thoughts of everything. It might start all looking like it's going to work. Um, I've still got to look into the front as well. So obviously that rear seat's out now to be gone for the next eight months till we come back from our trip. Um, but if I have a bit of a win with this, then I can start planning uh, the, the storage up the front there. Check back in tomorrow. Hey guys, back into day two. So this morning, we went and got a new, new length of ply for the, uh, for the front section of the base. So it'll be going inside the troop into that section there. So that'll be the removable piece. And it's pretty easy to get in and out here too, through the passenger door. So that's how I'll be doing it in the future, is bringing it in and out of this door here. So that's where it goes. And what I'm gonna do is pick up the mount holes for the rear seats. So that'll give it four nice big mounting points. So I'm just using these eight mil uh, recess bolts here. So as you can see, they sit nice and flush just below the floor level on them two there. So that'll be a nice uh, secure point for this and a nice flat surface that I can start building the uh, cabinets on. Just need to figure out a way to try and make them removable. In, out, secure. I'll keep thinking about that one. Anyway, that's what we're up to. So I'll get that bolted in. And then I might finish off this box here, get all that finished then take some measurements and try and get some foam and for these cushions sorted. So that'll be today's plan. And then tomorrow I might start looking into some of the electrical side of it. If I need to run any more wires, I think I do from the front. Um, I might get all that done now. 
so I can start working my way back. If I get all the wires to this point from everywhere that I need it, so my lights, thinking about putting auxiliary power up there as well in one of those cabinets. Also need power from the battery up there to the uh, auxiliary battery for the charging. So might get all that stuff run up here. That way it's all there ready to rock and roll when I want to start wiring that up. Because I think it's going to be a bit of a mission. Anyway, check back in later. So I didn't give you a recap. Yes, the Arvo, but I was having too much fun. But yes, it is the next day and it looks pretty much the same. Starting to think I should have just paid someone to do this, but where's the fun in that? Anyway, I was just having dramas yesterday trying to figure out how I was going to fit it all in. So I've made a few things. The floor's in and done. Um, but just trying to figure out this storage on this side and then how it's going to flow into the rest of it. It's just a bit of a mission. Um, I do have some like campus bags that I was going to put in the top bit. But now I'm starting to really rethink how I'm going to fit it all out and how I'm going to make it all work. Very frustrating. Um, but what I might do, so I haven't, I've cut out most of the stuff on that side there. This morning I just want to get it all pieced together and fit it up and then put it in there and just see how it's going to work. But I'm just trying to forward think this. This is why it's a bit frustrating that it's so late on in the build just before I go because I don't really know what I'm going to need in what areas and then how much overall storage I'm going to have. So yeah, I'm getting fair stressed about it to be honest, but <clears throat> thinking if I can just get that built up, have a look at it, and then try and pre-plan the rest of the storage up front, then me and Lids can sit down and try and figure out where we're going to squeeze stuff. So I suppose we're a bit lucky that we've got two other cars and vans going on the trip, and also we've got a boat. So chances are I'm going to be taking like a big esky or something in the boat. So you know we can just use heaps of storage in there as well. So. Probably going to be okay for the trip. Just trying to plan it out for after the trip as well. But I'll focus on this this morning, get that built up, see how we go. Um, I don't want to drag this on too much. I was hoping to do a bit of the electrical stuff today um, so I can start having a bit of a think about all that stuff, make sure that I'm not missing anything. Um, but yeah, I'll get into it and we'll see how we go. Mm -hmm. 